G'day, I'm Clive and welcome. If I excuse the uh, bug net, the mozzies are going crazy at the moment. I'm actually biting my back through my shirt. Now it's a taste test, see what it's really like and I'll let you know about the on-track meals, gourmet meals for the outdoors, the sweet and sour pork. It says here, juicy pieces of Australian pork cooked in a vibrant tangy sauce. Now this is an MRE meal, which means all you have to do is heat it up. No adding water, no waiting 10-15 minutes for it to rehydrate. Not as hot, light as your freeze-dried meals, the lightweight ones, the dehydrated ones, but tastes much better this sort of meal does to me personally now I'm going to take my glasses off so I can read this it says on the back gourmet meals for the outdoors heating instructions place sealed pouch in boiling water for three to five minutes or empty the pouch into a pan and heat through so you can either water like I'm going to do tonight, put it in there and leave it for five minutes. Uh, it says do not microwave this pouch, best enjoyed with rice, pasta or mashed potato. Store, store in a cool dry place, refrigerate once opens up to three days. Uh, they got all different ranges, I've done some reviews on these before and I've got more to do. Okay, energy here. What we got per serving is 1,770 kilojoules, 33 grams of protein, 21.8 grams of fat, and 7.7 grams is saturated, 20.9 grams of carbs, of which sugars are 7 grams. Now, if you're on a low carb, this isn't too bad at 20 grams. I think the low carb is 60 grams of carbs a day, so you could have about three of these and you'd be fine. Yeah, ingredients, pork, onion, white vinegar, all the different things in there, salt, pepper, yeah, black pepper, crushed chilli, no warnings on there. Uh, made in Australia from at least 91% Australian ingredients. And... Uh, this has actually gone past the best before date so there's another test there but it's only gone two months past so it should be should be okay so let's get the little gas stove going and get some boiling water Now, I'm not able to move the camera around today as I got to pick up my main camera which has the tripod bottom on so at the moment I've got this camera per perched up on the um, excuse me the extending pole bits with some of my packs and bits around it to hold it there so I'll get this water boiling I'll speed the camera up between now and then and then we'll carry on Yeah, enjoy the view. Okay, the water's almost at a boil, so let's 
so I'll fold this up a bit so it'll fit in the pot and give it five minutes. And the best part of one of these meals if you're heating it up in the water in the packet is you don't have to waste the water you can just add your coffee to it and you've got a coffee there's no need to boil twice had a phone call, sorry about that. Nice and hot, very hot. Now what they've got here is a rip point here and here. Some of the more to, uh, newer uh, freeze dried ones, they've got a second rip point down at the bottom here. So it makes a bowl. Uh, I've only got my small spoon. So I'm gonna use my knife and just cut the top off. And they do normally rip off quite easy. I think I've had once where it's gone astray. There we go, that's off. And now I've got a nice little dinner bowl. Smells good. Hmm. Go away, Mozzie. Steam in. Let's grab this little light thing I've got. Oh yeah, looks like a sweet and sour. I don't know if you can see that, sorry. Let's try to it closer and I'll show you it as good as I can. How about that? Now what do I think to the taste? That's alright. Ah, oh, that's nice. Mmm. Yeah, five minutes boiling it or in boiling water work just nice. That's right. Everything's cooked lovely. <laughs> oh, I can feel the warmth going down to the tummy. Oh. Especially nice now, it's getting chilly here. Every spoonful I've had so far has had a chunk of pork in it. Mm. I'll keep making their noises. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm going to finish this off and enjoy it. It's another thumbs up for me, this one is. That's a sweet and sour pork one from On Track Meals. I think it's about there. Yep. I've, I've actually liked all of theirs so far, so yeah, thumbs up for them. So if this video has helped you in any, in any way, hit that like button, the thumbs up button. And if you're not a subscriber, go down and click on the subscribe button. And click the notification bell next to it and select all so you can be notified of all future videos. 
And if you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. Let's get back to my dinner. Wow. I'm trying to see on the camera steam coming off. 